we know that one of the position groups on the field this year is going to have a big target on their back, and that is the running backs. We're joined now by running backs coach Reno Faree and coach. Uh, that target on their back is going to be big because of the guy number 28, Terrence West, picked as the Offensive Player of the Year in the CAA and a Walter Payton Award finalist. Uh, do you think that he's aware of how big the target is on his back? Um, you know, I don't think he cares. I think he's focused on the objective. I think he's working to get better each and every day. And, uh, you know, I don't think he puts much thought in, into it. I think he wants to become a better runner, blocker, uh, faker, and just improve his game in every aspect. And it seems that that's his focus. So I, I have no concerns about the big target on his back. Now, he's obviously not the only running back on the team. There's six other guys behind him, uh, or including him. But what, what about the other guys? How are they looking so far in the early days of camp? Um, Sterling's coming off an injury, but I mean, he's progressing fine. He'll be, he'll be fine you know, uh, when it's game time. But uh, he's getting the mental reps that he needs, and you know, he's, a, he's a smart enough guy. I'm expecting big things from him. Um, if you're looking behind those two, you know, we have talent to fill the number three role. Um, we have a couple young freshmen that are good, and then uh, Navasa. Um, and, and Vince DePaula are looking, are looking looking good enough to, to help us. And then Trey Jones has played plenty of football in the past, and I would expect him to have an opportunity to do some more this year. Now you have two young fullbacks. Obviously, you're not just in charge of the running backs, in charge of the fullbacks also, but Emmanuel Holder and Jayon Johnson, uh, they finished strong last year. Uh, how have they come back to camp so far? I mean, you know, if you, you look back 365 days ago, um, the fullback position was a, a, a big a big issue on our team. We had uh, Emmanuel, who's a true freshman, and Dre, that was, uh, you know, just a redshirt freshman. So um, their improvement's been tremendous. Uh, I think they've come a long way, and I uh, expect them to be, you know, uh, A plus players. I expect them to be, you know, as good as there as good as there is a fullback in the league. I expect out of those two. And do you think with the uncertainty of who the starting quarterback is, that's going to uh, fall down to your guys a little more to to really perform at their highest that they can? No. I, again, I don't think that, you know, they're focused on the objective. They know what it takes to be great at their position. So, you know, no matter who's taking the snaps or who they're throwing to or who's blocking, I think they're fo focused on what they can do to be better. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, Coach. Well, thank you very much for the time. We'll check in again soon. Good luck, Rest Camp. Right, thank you very much. For me, it starts when my opponent is still sleeping, when the eyes aren't watching, and silence is all I hear, and when the extra rep only matters to me, because that makes the difference between seeing me coming or not. Ready?